Hey guys, it's Sam! And today, I'm going to show you how to wrap your gift so that it looks like a little piece of candy. In this example, I'm going to be wrapping a shirt. This is actually a real gift that I'm giving to somebody for Christmas. Unfortunately, I have no more shirts to wrap for this example, so I'm just going to use a shirt that I already own that I will be unwrapping at the end of the video because it's mine and I, I really like this shirt. Now, obviously, things that are already cylinder shaped can be used with this technique, but something like a shirt has a few different ways it can be wrapped. What's really cool about this is that it just kind of adds a little bit of a different way for you to wrap a present. Here's what you'll need. Wrapping paper. I chose this plain blue one that's actually interchangeable with a style behind it. Cool. Tape. A cutting device. Balloon ribbon. If you'd like, you can substitute this with yarn or twine or some kind of regular ribbon, but if you use this, then you'll get to curl it with your scissors at the end. And finally, the thing that you'll be wrapping. And that's it. Let's begin. Also, I wanted to point out I'm wearing my Zelda Happy Holidays sweater. Gonna switch the camera angle for this bit. See you soon. Welcome back. First thing you're gonna wanna do, take the shirt that you're going to be folding and fold it like you would any regular t-shirt. Now, take it, pick any end, and you roll it up just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a cylinder-like shape at this point. Now remove that off the table just for a second and grab your wrapping paper. Roll your wrapping paper across the table. Looks like last time I used it, I used it for something really small because it's in kind of a weird position right now, but don't worry about that. You're gonna take your newly wrapped shirt and you're gonna place it anywhere on your wrapping paper. This part of the step is simply to make sure that you're cutting the right amount of wrapping paper out. Grab your cutting device and make kind of a long rectangle with your paper. As you can see, I have a rectangular shape here. You're gonna take your rolled up shirt and you're gonna put it on the side that is longer. Now you're gonna hold onto your shirt, you're gonna take the piece of paper and hold onto it with your hands, and you're gonna roll the paper and the shirt together until you have nothing left. You should have something that looks like this. For added aesthetic, take the end, fold it in ever so slightly, and then place it. This leaves the edge looking a lot cleaner. Grab your tape and secure the edge to the body. Be sure only to add tape to the parts where the shirt is underneath. Now you're gonna grab your string and your scissors. You're gonna take the ribbon and you're gonna cut it to about a foot. This is actually a lot more than a foot that I just did, but that's fine. It all depends on how long you want the curls to be. Now grab your little log here. Take a look inside and see where the shirt stops. So for me, this is where the shirt stops. I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna scrunch it closed. Now I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna tie it right on the spot where I scrunched it. And you're gonna pull it all the way. Now for added protection, flip it over, tie it again. And because I'm crazy, I'm gonna flip it over and tie it one more time. Take your scissor and curl the ribbon. Once again, if you did not use balloon ribbon, feel free to use regular ribbon and tie it into a bow. Personally, I think this is a little bit too long, so the good thing about it being longer than you'd like it to be is that you can always cut it to be shorter. Now repeat everything that we just did on the other side. Scrunch, tie, curl the ribbon, and then cut to desired length. And now it's done. I'm gonna put it with my other one that's actually for another person. One thing that I did realize during this tutorial is that you should watch the thickness of your wrapping paper. This wrapping paper is very thin. It was easy to scrunch, it was easy to tie. This wrapping paper is actually the thickest wrapping paper that I own, which means that it was a mistake for me to choose it for this particular style of wrapping. I still pulled it off, but it doesn't look as nice scrunched as something that is thinner would look. Some wrapping papers come thicker than others. Just keep in mind that it's better to use the thinner paper. I think they're really adorable, and now that I have a second one, it's kind of fun to see them together like that. Because when it's on its own, it's really cute, but when it has two, it almost looks like a set. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little crafty tutorial, and I hope that this is helpful to you. And I really hope you guys have a great week! Thank you for joining me today on our Christmas edition crafty tutorial. My name is Sam, and I will see you next time. Bye! Meh. For me? I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting a gift. <laughs> okay, alright. This is really nice of you. Is this Marceline's rock shirt? 
that Princess Bubblegum wears that one time and then keeps forever? And then I almost went more into what happens, but I didn't want to spoil things? Wow. Looks kind of cool when it's like unwrapped like this. <laughs>